Hi everybody, it is Kevin Ho and I am over here at 111 States Street. It's a listing with Andrew Weinberger over at Redfin. We're right across and it's for the backside of uh, the Randall Science Museum in Corona Heights Park. And um, we're gonna take a look at this house. First thing you'll notice, you have two side-by-side -side garages, uh, independent, which is a luxury in San Francisco. Next thing you might notice, you might be thinking, hey, this is a lot wider than normal. You would be right. We have 27 or even 28 feet uh, width here. A little more shallow, but wide. And it's pretty amazing when you have it this wide because people in San Francisco really just don't know what to do with it because it's rare. Because most people, it's, or most places, it's just 25 feet. You know, it's this sort of interesting terrazzo zebra pattern. And then you'll sort of notice this great door. It's a Spanish Maritina Mediterranean Revival. Uh, style and let me see if we can get the right key here i love the hardware oh, hey thanks our clients are here too so coming in here you met by this nice lobby and the first thing you might notice you've got some really beautiful millwork all throughout the house they've got really nice detail nice millwork nice wood floors with the inlay here it's really neat and then over here i really like this hello that's really cool uh, going in here, you've got a little closet area there and a closet area there. So we've got two bedrooms up here, one, no, no, sorry, one up here, two downstairs, and we have about, I think they're about eight and a half foot, nine foot ceilings thereabouts up here. So going in here first, we have the living room. So the living room is really nice too. You've got a nice tree that gives you some privacy and uh, protection from the noise. And the view across the street, you don't have any neighbors, which is nice. Come in here. Screams out bookshelves, but what I really quite like here is this the Spanish sort of style uh, wood burning fireplace. Love that little detail tile, and the uh, mantle is pretty nice too. Great millwork above. See here, and that goes over to the living room. I'm oh, sorry, the dining room. What am I talking about? So we've got the dining room here. We've got fire puppy Ripley over here, but over here, bay window, and that's really neat. There's a vista. Rare that you kind of have this sort of very California, very dry scape type of place. So, going in here, we'll come around here. Backside, you have the kitchen, uh, half bath there, stairs to going down. And as they go down, see this breakfast nook here. And we'll walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is really nice too because you have nice cabinetry, you've got a nice hood, and you've got this nice brand new looking, I think it's probably brand new. Uh, gas burner range, it's the LG with the griddle on top, nice cabinetry, nice polish color here, soft clothes, dovetail, exactly what you expect, quartz countertops, you've got the uh, marble subway tile backsplash, nice detailing up top, you've got the LED lights up top too, and over here, I really do quite like the sink, it's a nice porcelain sink here, C cute um, uh, hardware, dishwasher down there, and then refrigerator back here. Of course, you have the chirping fire smoke detector that needs some help. So, let's see here. There we go. So, out here, look at that view up towards the back side of Twin Peaks and fogs rolling in. But this is your uh, upstairs space here. Downstairs, you'll see there is another uh, area which we'll go see. Uh, shallower yard, like we said. But of course, remember across the street, you've got Corona Heights Park and um, all that sort of nature preserve in the middle of the city. Coming in here, sorry for the, the gimbal is being funny today. Sorry guys. Oh, you know what? Huh. Well, look, we got a new one. Well, we're getting a new one, so this is why. So going back in here, you've got the old ironing board in there too. Uh, there is no ironing board, but if you wanted to, you could definitely do it. What is going on with this gimbal? Sorry guys. So let's go over here. That'll go downstairs to the other two bedrooms, but let's take a look in here. Less than ideal with the chirpy. No, but still. Bathroom here, half bath, toilet, nice little sink here, tile uh, mirror, and uh, you know, just nice thing. Skylight there and skylight above us. This is your primary room, at least up here. We've got, oh, look at that, neighbor's palm tree. Don't have to take care of it. Really lovely. Look at that backside view. The building next door, 101 states, is uh, one of the bigger uh, condominium buildings, and uh, it's very long. So you go. It's one of my favorite design things where you have 
you pass through your closet to get to your bathroom. And here is your bathroom, really nicely updated. It's a transitional look too, because you've got that you know, modern sort of features. And you've also got like the niche and you've got the LED lights and the shower glass. But you've also got the traditional form of the taps, the hardware, the wide spread. And I love that sort of uh, Art Deco hexagonal feel. Uh, the niche is really cool. Shower is also pretty generous too. If you want, I suppose you could put a tub in here. Um, but, you know, it just depends. So, going onward, we're going to go downstairs next and we will see what awaits us down there. So we've come downstairs and one of the nice things down here is that it, I think it's like eight foot three. I had to measure before, but I don't want to move the camera and gimbal, but you have two bedrooms down here. Here is your laundry, which is nice, brand new big machines. And then over here, really a spacious bathroom, full size tub, actually I think it's even bigger than normal. Let's see how big that is. Uh, nice vanity. I mean, just a good amount of space, good hardware. This is 63, so it's 5 foot 3, which is bigger than normal. Sometimes it'll get 4 foot 11, 4 foot 8, and it's kind of short. What's really nice is there's this room here. Take a look at that. Beautiful light. This is the lower unit, too, or lower floor, not lower unit. And it's good gravy. And you'll see there is a huge closet here. I mean, this, we can't even bring this out as an efficiency apartment, I mean, I swear. No, not really, but no, you never know. But in here, we've got this great space here, great light, and then over here across the way, you've got the other bedroom. They say that the kids' room, of course, you see your neighbors there, but that's fine. You know, just get some blinds which they have, and, you know, people are doing their own thing. Why would they care? But who knows? The other great part. And this is really cool. Two garages, not one, but two immense, tall, and just sort of um, spacious garages. You've got storage space underneath the entry stairs here. You got more storage here. Great garage doors, super big, and you've also got tankless water heater, updated heating. And over here, you've got the other garage. So the garage height here, ceiling heights here, let's see. Uh, don't check you guys here. Oops, we talked the controller. Let's see. Super tall. Okay, let's see. This is do, 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 123 inches tall for this one, just over 10 feet. And this one's a little bit shorter. And this is, let's see here. That's right. Here we go, 109. So, you know, both cases, it's pretty fantastic. And of course, you got your um, entrance here, so little step down here, and you've got this super central location, as we were saying. And just, you know, having a second garage is cool, let alone having a second garage at all, is even better. So, we could do what do you want with this? The second refrigerator here, you can do a gym, you can do a second car, you can rent it out to people if you want or whatnot, pull a door here. I mean, you just have a lot of options, which is great. And let's take a look at the outside. And then we'll call it a day. It's just about 1,800 square feet. So I think it was. And out here, so you've got this outdoor space. So the backyard is a little smaller, but you get a lot of sun, as you can see, a lot of weathering, you know, but easy to maintain, you know, just fire wash it, stain, you know, occasional, you know, maintenance will be fine. I love that palm tree and it's protected. So the fog is rolling in over there. And so there is kind of cold, but down here, it's kind of nice and warm. A few things to notice, this is a little, um, power wash it, stain it and do a protectant on it and you'll be fine concrete all over here and then you've got the uh, sort of cement forward siding fair chance that that might contain some asbestos we don't know um, but one of the things you know check if you ever do any work or if you're doing any sawing uh, the windows up there are the ones they haven't replaced um, so but they're the back side of the building so it's easier to do you have that patio upstairs that we were at and then down here we've got uh, pressure treated wood you can see the little staple marks there you go and under here you've got more of the pavers 
you got a little area here and the foundation looks pretty robust i mean take a look at that you know it's concrete it's what you want to see and i've got a little stair step here so i think that's doing some work and then you've got maybe part of the old um, brick somewhere back there but overall it's pretty impressive you know um you don't know what you'll see behind uh the facades of houses and you'll realize that this one's a really really clever one um I'm pleasantly and very happy and surprised and glad it's in our neighborhood. So anyway, it's 111 States. This is, of course, Kevin Ho walking you through the house. Sorry for all that chirping and for the gimbal. Uh, you know, real estate is always a fun and evolving time. And I think uh, we love what we do and we hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to check out more videos on our YouTube channel. And we will see you at the next one.